hello everyone today i want to show you how to simplify this nice algebraic expression so if we have a to the power of 8 minus a to the power of 7 divided by 2 to the power of 15 so we write this algebraic expression into the lowest form uh, but here you remember one thing is that uh, calculator is not allowed in this problem it means that uh, we will show all of the working on this paper so here uh, we will solve this problem for two methods and i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so now here uh, we move forward to, to the uh, question solution uh, so here the very first step we are going to do is uh, in first method here we need to focus in the denominator term only and we write it as uh, this is uh, 8 to the power of 8 minus 8 to the power of 7 divided by we write this term as 2 to the power of 3 multiplied by 5. We know that 3 times of 5 becomes 15. And here we use uh, this exponent law. If we have a to the power of m multiplied by n, it is equals to a to the power of m to the power of n. So according to this exponent law, uh, here we need to move the three, this exponent 3 inside the term and it will be written as a to the power of 8 minus a to the power of 7 divided by 2 cubed and its whole power is 5. So here we, uh, we see that uh, 2 cubed is equals to 8. So we replace this 2 cubed equals to 8 and this expression is written as 8 to the power of 8 minus 8 to the power of 7 equals to 8 to the power of 5. So further in the next step here uh, we need to break this fraction so uh, we write these terms as 8 to the power of 8 divided by 8 to the power of 5 minus this is 8 to the power of 7 divided by 8 to the power of 5. And now here we apply this exponent law. If you have a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n, we write it as a to the power of m minus n. So according to this exponent law, uh, here uh, we need to move the exponent in the denominator term to the numerator term so but uh, in order to apply this exponent law the basis of both of these two terms should must be same uh, so that we can apply this exponent law so here uh, our given these conditions are satisfied the requirement of this exponent law so that we move uh, the exponent we move the exponent from the denominator term to the numerator and it will be written as 8 to the power of uh, 8 minus 5 minus this is 8 to the power of uh, 7 minus 5 so this will be written as 8 to the power of 8 minus 5 equals to 3 and this is written as 7 minus 5 is also equals to 2 and now we uh, write a to the power of 3 as a to the power of 2 plus 1 minus 8 square. So again we apply here the exponent law and we can write these two terms separately on 8 and it will be written as 8 square multiplied by a to the power of 1 minus 8 square. And now here in the next step we need to take common 8 square and we get the remaining values are here we get 8 minus 1 and now here we know that uh, the square of 8 is equals to 64 and 8 minus 1 is equals to 7. So here in the next step uh, we need to multiply these two terms and you see here 7 fours are 28 we write 8 and carry 2. 7 6 is 42, 42 plus 2 becomes 44. So finally we have uh, 8 to the power of 8 minus 8 to the power of 7 divided by 2 to the power of 15 is equals to 448. So this is the our uh, final answer of this question uh, which we get here from first method uh, and now here uh, we need 
to again solve this problem for second method so here uh, from second method uh, first we need uh, to copy down the given question statement here so that uh, we first write the question statement so this is the our second method and question statement is that a to the power of 8 minus a to the power of 7 divided by 2 to the power of 15 so we write this into the lowest form so here uh, here first uh, in the second method uh, f we need to focus on the exponents of all of these values and we have the exponent of this 8 this 8 is also 8 so we write it as 5 plus 3 minus the exponent of this term is 7 7 we write it as 5 plus 2 and the exponent of this term is 15 we write it as 3 multiplied by 5 so now here in the numerator term we apply this exponent law if you have a to the power of m plus n is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of m so we apply this exponent law in the numerator term and we apply this exponent law in the denominator term so you have a to the power of m multiplied by n is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n okay so we use these two uh, exponent laws here uh, so first we use this law in the numerator terms and it will be written as a to the power of 5 multiplied by a to the power of 3 minus a to the power of 5 multiplied by 8 square and it is divided by here we move this 3 inside the term and it will be written as 2 cubed and its whole power is 5 so uh, now here in the next step we need to take common a to the power of 5 to the numerator terms and when we take common this we get the remaining values are here you get 8 cubed minus here we get 8 square and it is divided by here we know that 2 cubed equals to 8 and this is a to the power of 5 and now you see here this a to the power of 5 is cancelled out by this a to the power of 5 and we get the remaining values are this is a to the power of 3 so we again write it as a to the power of 2 plus 1 and 8 square so this is a to the power of 2 plus 1 and we again break this exponent and we write it as 8 square and its exponent is 1 minus this is also 8 square so here we again take common 8 square and we get the remaining values are 8 minus 1 and we know that 8 square is equals to 64 multiplied by 8 minus 1 is equals to 7 so here finally we need to multiply these two terms and we have 7 4 are 28 we write 8 and carry 2 7 6 are 42 42 plus 2 becomes 44 so here finally we have 8 to the power of 8 minus 8 to the power of 7 divided by 2 to the power of 15 is equals to 448 so this is the our uh, final answer which we get here from second method so you see here from both of these methods we get the same answer this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos